So we are pre-gaming at uh, my apartment, and uh, we're drinking, we're doing, you know, we're ripping some shots, drinking some mixed drinks, right? And then uh, I had talked about uh, taking some of these little, like, uh, mini mushroom pills, I yeah. guess, you know Microdoses. I mean? Yeah, microdoses. But then uh, I was even, uh, you know, talking with Alex in the beginning, before the night began, about, or as the night began, about, like, what should I, how many of these equals how much of a good time, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, ask so, your Sherpa. Yeah, yeah. And then so, uh, so, and my Buddy is telling me that he I just pictured it. Alex in full tie dye regalia with one of those sheep hooks and yeah. then just walking a fucking <laughs> <laughs> group of bats up a hill. <laughs> Alex the sheep herder? The hippie I herder? said baz because I forgot <laughs> what I said before that. I forgot if I said lamb or sheep and I just went bah. Bah would have covered both. I know, and I did it. <laughs> and then I explained it. And there's no need for either. <laughs> so. She's, uh, you know, she was like, oh, I think you could do, she, Alex starts bigging me up. She's like, you can do five. You'll be fine with five of them. You know what I mean? She goes, you'll be. You'll be. What are they, 0. 0.5? I don't know. They're point. They're point one five each. Oh, yeah, you they're can do They're really five. weak. You're yeah. a big, strong yeah. boy. So then I'm like, all right, I'll, you know, I was like, I, you know, let's not, let's take what Alex's vice, you know, take that with a grain of salt and then, you know, back it off a little bit. Sure. So I'm like, I'll do four, you know, just uh -huh. because that'll be, you know, if it really is good going, maybe, you know, you can add more or something later on. So we're, we're drinking, uh, we do that, we get this awesome, uh, I had this pre-roll that was with key oil and then like rolled in more. You right, know what right. I mean? So the it's thing like that the... nobody should smoke that they sell for too much. Yes, money. Yeah, yes, thing. it yeah. is the triple decker fucking thing. So it's like, hey, if you want to be nervous about your heart stopping, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you want to get to that level of high where you're unsure, it literally feels like your ventricle is just gonna go. <laughs> Yeah, or that and it's already starts, doing yeah. it and you can't get to it. There's nothing you can do. You yeah. can't reach in your own chest. You're like, maybe I'll define start scratching. You know, <laughs> just burrow a hole. <laughs> so, yeah, like Tom Hanks and Castaway trying to start a fire. Just, <laughs> so... Uh, I, I decided, I'm like, I'm going to take four. So I take the four before we leave. I uh, bring the joint for right before we go in. And I we're you know we're drinking. We're doing shots and stuff. So I got a nice buzz going. And we take the, the cab up there. And we waited until we waited until after the concert had already started sure. to go there. These because cool. No, we're just like, we're not lying, people. We don't need to see, you know, the guy. We just want to see the end of his set. We don't need to be there too early or whatever. So we get there. Wait, uh, how much do you spend on these tickets that you're like... Picking and choosing parts of the show. Well, you only want to see. I'm there. I'm both tickets to see the headliner. You know what I mean? It's like the. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? So it's like there's two DJs on before them. It's like I don't. They're like local guys. One I did want to see, and we did catch some of who was great. But the other person was like, I don't. I don't care to. You know what I mean? It's like it's not yeah. worth standing in a 500 person line. Can I to, ask a really ignorant question? Sure. So when you see, uh, I mean, like, what do they get? A different color iPod? Like, what are these other DJs offering? Do they also have a light show? Different music. Is it different? I mean, it's do like, they do it? Like, like they put it together, and do they also? Design Design their own lights, it's or all, is it a it's, stripped dude, down version? No, it's just like it's just yes, it's a strip, stripped down version for sure. They don't. It's all based on just like a rock show. It's like you know when you go see the fucking Rolling Stones, or when you go see Tool live. It's like Tool has got all these giant stages and like the screens and everything, and the opening band is just like got like a spotlight on. Right, you know right. what I mean? So it's depending upon yeah, they're playing instruments is what I'm saying. Like what is right. does every so DJ is, have a different stuffed yeah, animal head? Like the different no, they're different lights. Like you know, there's different light shows essentially, okay. but in some some are just basic to the beat and stuff. But then and that's actually kind of what makes it better because their music has to be better because sure. there's not as many bells and whistles and things, right? So we get there and there's immediately, we realize like, oh no. Like we, even though we came later, it's still, there's still a billion people. Like there's just cab, the whole block is cabs of people pulling in. So we go, let's go smoke, kill some time. Uh, so we decide we were like not being not feeling frisky enough to like bring it in so like we'll just smoke the whole let's try and smoke the whole thing yeah, of the thing that nobody should smoke to people. while already drunk and have already taken the mushrooms right and they should be kicking in any moment now so i we we I smoke as much of it as we can and it was probably like I don't know, an inch of it left at the end of it, and I had it in a glass. It was like a glass tube that it came in. So then I put it in the glass tube, and we go, what if we left it? There's a solo cup. It was like garbage. You, you give it to a pigeon and then just walk away? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's... <laughs> 
there's all this garbage on the ground because the Bronx. Yeah. So it's just all littered all over <laughs> the ground. Dare you. What a smug white thing to say. Not a white. Because the Bronx. No, it's just the Bronx. There's parts of the Bronx where it's all, it's like Bushwick. Parts of where it's all warehousey. Mm-hmm. It's like no one's cleaning that up, you know? So they, <laughs> what, what premonitions do you have or preconceived notions? Anything I can say right now doesn't shed good light on you, my friend. <laughs> So we get, so there's there's just you know there's garbage all over the place and there's people who obviously were pre gaming because there was a cups like solo cups or some had ice and those clear cups they had ice with like a lime on top of it so we just go to one of the cups and I go I'm just gonna put this j- rest of this joint in this t- glass tube in that cup sure. on the ground and I go what are the odds it'll still be there when we get back and. You know, Eric, I'm at her like 100%. I'm like, nah, you guys are crazy. Because they stopped, they, I smoked way more than they did. So sure. I'm, now I'm like losing it. <laughs> and you took a fistful of mushrooms. Yeah, pills. so I'm yeah. like starting to, I've also never done mushrooms and gone to like a venue. It's always been like oh, in a you controlled kidding? space. Oh, that's yeah. fun when you're in public for the first time. Yeah. So I, so we <laughs> like go. everybody else is, right? And some yeah. people are like, no, I have yeah. work tomorrow. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like eating your sweater yeah. and they're like chilling. This is your a. weekend, right? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we go on this line. There's so many fucking people. And as we get in, uh, we're like in the middle. We're like, so we're in like an ocean of people, right? Waiting to get through security. And as we're getting up to security, we're probably halfway to security. And I start like going black. Like my eyes start, like I lose, I'm starting to lose all vision. And you get in that thing where you're like, ah, man, I'm getting, I'm pretty fucked up right now. And you're like, I'm, it's, my legs are getting pretty weak. And I'm like, ah, man, I'm feeling like pretty lightheaded. Like I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and fight through this, yeah. not say anything out loud while they're still talking to me and stuff. So you're getting legit tunnel vision? Tunnel, blacker, oh, no. blacker, blacker, to the point where I had to just. <laughs> you were just actually holding your hands <laughs> up to your eyes. <laughs> Everybody's like, Mike, what are you doing? You're like, they're my own binoculars. You know when you hold binoculars in reverse? <laughs> binoculars. It's getting dark. And I at one point just go, hey, guys, uh, real quick, I think I may pass out pretty quickly. So um, I think I'm going to get off the line right now. And then they were like, and weirdly enough, Erica was having her own moment because of like all of the people that were caving in on us where she felt a little overwhelmed and a little close. So I think it was more that joint. Poor Erica. She's suffering in silence (laughs) next to me. I'm holding my (laughs) hand. It's a scene, man. So I go, we got to, so we leave the line, which was like, I hate leaving the line. Cause like we had waited in the line 10, 10 minutes already. So I'm like, God damn. But it, it was so necessary. Yeah, Cause I, I was about, I was, I, I lost all vision at one point. Uh-huh. And it was like my leg, I was, I had, I thankfully found a guardrail a little over there. So I just like kind of hung out on the guardrail for a few minutes, but I was hardcore, like tripping, <laughs> Dehydrated, <laughs> passing out, stone drunk. I was everything at once, just like holding on to the guardrail, <laughs> like a man floating on a door in the ocean, just oh. just trying to <laughs> overcome the wave. You That's know that- like the Chappelle joke when he's talking about the opioid crisis and black people looking at it as white people did to black people in the 80s. So I'm just picturing people walking by this slumped over white in the middle of the Bronx, <laughs> hugging a guardrail, just being like, oh, get it together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> a lot of people had that look, but I yeah. couldn't see them. So it didn't matter. But you know that first wave, right? The first wave of the mushrooms when it comes and all that stuff. So it's like, yeah, you know, that's that first. Like Everything's got to stop for a second. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you're like, shush, 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 shush. Oh, we've called it nope in the past. Really? We've said that on the show before. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the time where you're like, nope. Yeah. Can't. Can't and won't. That's... So I'm just going to sit in this for well, a little imagine while. Imagine if that started while you're yeah. in a line of oh, people. Oh, you took too many mushrooms. Yeah. That's why. That's too many public mushrooms because nope is not supposed to happen yeah. socially. That's only if you're in the park. Like, that's what I fucking, I, I told that before when I did mushrooms in uh, in uh, the Brooklyn Park or whatever. Oh, yeah, the, right, uh, yeah, Prospect uh, Park. Prospect Park, And yeah. I was playing catch with a fucking eight-year-old for like two for, hours. For hours. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea if he existed or if I was throwing dead pigeons at him. <laughs> Or what? Yeah. But yeah, I had like an hour and a half of nope. It was like my yeah. longest nope of all time because, and I just sat on a blanket and I was like, I couldn't even eat. Like I tried to get uh. a, a sandwich up to my face and everything fell apart. I might have been like throwing meat yeah. and stuff. And you I just lose no motor idea. function, yeah, goes dude. And, and I just was so. 
in a bad place. But thankfully, it went away. I felt that coming on like stronger and stronger for about five minutes. And then it lasted once I got off the line for about another five minutes. But then after that, it was hilarious. Like night and day. Yeah. I not only got out of it, but I was like, ah, oh, a new man. Oh, guys, <laughs> we went on the line and we found like the line you all the way. Punch Matt in the <laughs> face, yeah. kiss Erica. And you're like, let's have fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Short of that, short of punching man in the face, I did all of those things. We found the shortest line where we waited like three minutes a total to get in because everyone else was going to the right. We found this line to the left. I was like, this let's, is great. Let's be honest. You you cut. You cut. I don't, <laughs> like, that's what happened. Not that I knew. I was too busy smiling. We found a short line. It was wild. I just walked up. Yeah. No one said a thing. So I, so I walked. Because you were covered in your own vomit and piss, and you had no idea. They couldn't hear me over my loud finger guns. So I was doing everybody as I walked by them. Yeah, you just a white guy in the Bronx. Ka 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 down a line, and they're all just like ah, diving for cover. Not again today. Yeah. Ha fun. I get in there. I guess. That's when you want to make your Irish goodbye.